Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another Royal Kludge. This is actually a re-release of one we may all be familiar with, the RK96. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So for transparency's sake, Royal Kludge did send me this uh, unit for review. Uh, they have no say in the review and they get to see it as soon as you get to see it. So. Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I do have another RK96, though. I must say I get the RK96 and the 100 mixed up in my head. RK96 is the one with the roller at the top right now. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. So before we take a look at the keyboard, let's see what we have in the box. And it looks like, oh, yes. We have a full size and with the matching groove, plastic wrist rest. Now, I've actually gotten used, I used to always want soft, but now that I've been using solid ones, I find that I can go longer typing without any sort of uh, discomfort. Um, I think it's just because you get that solid angle. So I do like keyboards that include them, especially uh, these bigger ones, as a lot of them tend to be, you know, smaller size for 65% and whatnot. So, Royal Kludge is uh, it's thoughtful of them to include this. Now, this is a, a special model. Uh, it's a limited edition. I forgot the name of it, but it's, a, I believe, in a blue colorway. We'll be taking a look at it here in a second. Also in the box, we have some extra switches. Royal Kludge is thankfully one of the uh, manufacturers that it's quite thoughtful and includes extra switches, usually three, three or four. I believe depending on the size of the keyboard and obviously these are gator on yellow so we have four spare gator on yellow because who knows something could happen we have your USB A to USB C cable and um, again key cron I mean every time I see this I'm like key cron I'm like key cron I know you're watching can you please do this can you because, I mean, what they do is just include an adapter. But why don't you do something like this? So you've got a C to C cable with a little tail for the A adapter. I just think that's that's the smart way to do it. That's one complaint I have about Keychron. Their packaging is great. They include enough stuff. They got extra keys for Windows and Mac. But why don't they do this with the cable? And you could also, they could also put in some extra switches. That would be nice. And then we have your uh, standard keycap, wire keycap, and switch puller. And here we are, the RK96. Um, like I said, the special edition. I didn't say on the box, and I don't know what the name of it is, but it's in a blue colorway. It comes with a dust cover, which I believe the other one did as well. You got your user manual. One thing that is immediately noticeable about this keyboard is the weight. It is quite substantial. It, um, it feels a lot more solid than what I'm used to on um, arcade boards being. All right, I've got to say, Royal Kludge has definitely been improving their game. Um, I know they've asked me for feedback on some things, even on some of the keyboards, you know, if I'll say this, you know, was an issue or whatever, they'll come and ask me, and not to put it in the video, they just want to know, and they forward it on to their team, and you can tell because they're, they're making improvements. Since I've been doing this, RK boards have improved 100%. So, real quick, uh, before I take off any keys, we do have some um, front side legends uh, that do give us the extra... I guess the uh, the cluster that we don't have right here. Print screen, scroll, lock, pause, insert home, page up, delete, and page down. And obviously that's with the function in case you have the num lock on here. You want to have your navigation cluster right here. Um, looks like a camera with back, but I'm not sure. And then we have the multimedia controls. Uh, do we have a no we don't have a dedicated Mac switch we do have a pocket for the 
and we have a hub. That's one thing about the RK96 and the RK100, uh, the non-pro versions. That hub comes in extremely handy for myself. Um, I usually use a, a Logitech mice, and they, they have the nano adapter, so I can plug it right there. So I don't have to worry about you know having an extra port on my laptop or anything like that, or being too far away. Um, it's just right there. That for me comes in extremely handy. All right, so. I want to say these keys are ABS. Are they double shot? Huh, they're top double shot. Not bad, not bad. What kind of width do we have on here? Pull out the calipers. 1.2, 1.3, 1.2, 1.3. At least we're above one millimeter in uh, body width for the key cap. Anything less than that usually leaves a lot to be desired. Now let's take a look at these stabilizers and how they look. <clears throat> well, these are well attached to the plate. There's only the tiniest amount of wiggle and they did slop some uh, grease down in there so they're nice and well lubricated. They could use some pads you can actually hear it hit the PCB yeah so they could definitely use some pads so they don't bottom out hard but other than that they seem pretty good they're the cream colored ones that sound pretty good let's check out the uh, space bar <coughs> so as like I said with the new Royal Kludge, you have very good dampening um, even between the space bar, uh, the space bar hollow space. Now that can be a bit of an issue if it's not, I don't think this is a separate piece so you can have a little trouble having to take out these stabilizers. Thankfully, um, the stabilizers as of late have not been requiring any, any modification um, besides maybe just spreading the grease a little bit better. Uh, they've been coming out pretty good stock. I mean, they've seen the market out there and they are evolving instead of just keeping, you know, with the same basic white color boards with the shine through ABS keycaps. They are, they're listening to customers. They're paying attention to the market and they're providing what people are looking for. Here we've got, okay, so we've got a barrel encoder. You can't press it, but you got your mute right there. The majority of people Oh. I was just kind of brushing the key and it was making almost like a whistle sound. Um so most people are going to use this for volume and mute. Now I have not taken a look at their latest software. I remember reading somewhere grumblings about that they were going to make that programmable. I don't know if that's happened yet. I will have to check that out. Um, <clears throat> so since we are we do have a wireless, we can go ahead and turn it on and get an idea of the lights. All right, that's pretty good. I mean, obviously we do not have shine through keycaps, which for me that's a plus. Uh, so we don't get the um, shine through, but it does pretty good here. Let's see. We have, I think, okay, these are RK. They're, I thought they were Gatoron. They're RK branded. There's some ping. The leaf, um, leaf ping is pretty bad on there. That's the problem, and this is what I, I like to do uh, to check for ping. Ping sometimes, it, well, I think once you start to hear ping, then you can never stop. But when you want to get a good ear for it, uh, put your back to the back, uh, to put your ear to the back of the keyboard. Don't do it too hard because it's going to be loud. And just lightly press on one key. Especially if you press and hold it, you're going to hear that sound just kind of spread across the entire the entirety of the um, the case. 
So, especially having a, um, all right, so we do have a steel plate. And one thing that I just noticed, this is the first time that I've seen five pin RK switches. Now, I noticed that they just put out a milky tactile. Um, I have to find out if I'll get a chance to review those. But, uh, five pin. So, not that we can mount this plateless. Well, I wonder. Maybe, ooh, a half plate Royal Clutch. That'd be interesting. Royal Clutch keyboards are definitely sounding much better than they did. It's funny, I kind of wish I would have kept um, some of the older Royal Clutch. No, I don't think I... No, I've modded all of them. I was going to say, I thought I had maybe one just to pull it out and compare. Because, I mean, it was just plasticky, clacky, <laughs> loud and obnoxious. And, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I'd prefer something a little bit different, but if I got thrown into a new office one day and like, okay, you got to work on this for the next week, here's a keyboard, you know, because it's already passed whatever security, because some, you know, some companies like to, have, well, government a lot, particularly, you know, want to make sure that the, the devices have gone through rigorous testing to make sure there's no key log or anything, but if I got handed this keyboard, I might be like, yeah, but I didn't get to pick it, I don't know about the keycap color, but Guess what? I could pull up the legs. I'll probably pull up the same ones. I like it a little bit of a high angle. I could attach the wrist rest. Oh, it's magnetic. Haha. -ha. Nice, so it's not gonna be slipping off. I'd attach the rest rest. And I would get to work. I would not have any complaint. I mean, I might for the first few minutes. Um although I mean I, I TKL is my favorite layout, though I have been finding myself using 1800s a lot lately. So, um, uh, that's what this is. And I gotta say, I, I, I like this. Though I do prefer my wrist rest to not go all the way down. It's not, I mean, I've, I, I've worked many jobs without a wrist rest. So, it's not a big deal. Anyway, this is... <clears throat> When you can say Royal Kludge is actually a worthwhile keyboard that you can get, pull it out of the box and start using it without having to do anything and not feel like, uh, that's that that's pretty good. So I have to personally give props to to Royal Kludge. I think they're doing a great job with um, with their improvements and um, being one of the more affordable in stock uh, companies that's out there. I think. Um, I think the in-stock budget space is growing. I mean, there's always going to be a demand for the finer things. There's, I mean, there's always going to be people out there that are willing to drop several hundred dollars, a thousand dollars on a keyboard, and you know that's fine. I mean, if you got it and that's what you you like, you know, go for it. I would never want to <laughs> dampen somebody's fun and, and, and an enjoyment. I personally, don't get me wrong, there's some of those keyboards I look at, and they're, they're gorgeous, but when some of them are close to my mortgage payment, I have to question, you know, I, I that's when I stop and the bubble bursts, and I'm like, okay, realistically, for what that cost over a year's time, I could buy me a dozen keyboards and have, yeah, I might not have that one beautiful, gorgeous one, but I'm going to have... You know, at least half of them are going to be great keyboards that I enjoy and I mod to the point that, you know, may actually deliver for me a better experience than that mortgage payment keyboard would deliver for me. RK has done a good job. They are improving their in-stock game. Their keyboards stay at pretty much the same price, but they continue to improve. They come with dampening now. Uh, now they come with more colors than just your basic white. Um, they are doing double shot pbt caps uh, they're including five pin switches uh, they, they would have been lubed it would have been even better even factory lube it would have been much better for what you get it really i like it i i like it now they don't have extra keys though they do have the mac mode they always do on the, theirs and i'll have to take a look at the software like i said to see if this is um changed Let's get tactical.
Today we took a look at the Royal Clutch RK96. This is a 3 mode, 1896% wireless and wired keyboard with both 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth 5 with 4 spots. It comes with a 3750 milliamp hour battery. It includes both plate and PCB and case dampening foam as well as a magnetic wrist rest. The keycaps that come are OEM profile and they are ABS double shot. They are called Blue Forest. This keyboard also includes a USB hub or pass through with two USB A ports. The weight of this keyboard comes in at 933 grams with the chin sitting at 20 millimeters off the typing surface and the back sitting at 28 millimeters providing for a default typing angle of 6 degrees. Raising the first set of feet will bring the back up to 33 millimeters, providing for an 8 degree typing angle. Flipping the final and last set of feet, you will raise the back up to 39 millimeters, providing for a typing angle of 11 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $89.99, but regularly goes on sale for lower than that. All right, so today we took a look at the Royal Clutch RK96 Limited Edition Forest Blue. Now, if the regular ones are going to be like this, I don't know, but I've got to believe that they're going to continue to improve because I do know that I, I believe the last RK100 I got might have been a 96. I can't keep track of keyboards anymore. <laughs> I know, I know, that's a problem to have, right? Um, anyway, uh, I will be coming back to this keyboard. I have a fondness for 96% 1800s. And I want to see how well, I mean, just lubing the switches and doing a couple of little things inside the case, I think I can take this from a meh, okay, to a hmm. So, yeah, because I, I really think just even, let me just lube one switch just to see. No more ping. Let's go ahead and put it back in. It makes a difference, not as significant as a difference as I thought. Um, but because there's probably still reverberation because even if one spring one because even if one switch isn't lubed that can reverberate especially when you have a steel plate all right so just the J is lubed um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this I'm gonna move this up on my list I, I, I really like it I like the color I don't know if this is an, an existing colorway I think they're mixing three different I mean because it kind of has the colors of soya, but this is kind of like hammerhead. I don't know. I like it. I actually like it. And I know they're ABS. I thought they were PBT, but they're, they're pretty good. Um, the thing is, though, I, I don't know. I thought, oh, okay, it's going to take a while for ABS keys to shine. I have a few ABS key sets that I've used maybe one or two weeks on and off here and there. And I've noticed that when I go to load them up, they are definitely shiny and they look oily but that's neither here nor there um i've kind of moved uh most of my, the keycap sets i get nowadays um for my own builds or for um, um you know people when friends family ask me to build them one i'm getting ghost judges i really like ghost judges keycap sets from kpr they're well made and well kitted they're gonna fit practically any keyboard so anyway I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this RK96 Special Edition Forest Blue with a pretty nice colorway. Um, and until the next transmission, keep calm and keep it on.